Cone Bone Wah. Good evening, Vault Dwellers. It is I, Loki to my Titan, and welcome to episode 20. Pretty sure, pretty sure it's episode 20. I checked, but now I'm having a brain fart. Episode 20 of the Fallout 4 mod, Killer Frost. Which, it's, it's, it is just Frost. It's, it's just Frost. But I'm, I'm playing as Killer Frost. It looks like there's an entire field of Frost's favorite enemies right ahead of me. Ghouls. I see a ton of ghouls. So, uh, we're gonna go murder these ghouls. And then we are going to continue exploring Nuka World. We're going to explore anywhere and everywhere. Because there is a ghoul party happening here. Just, just come on. Come on. Where are you guys going? Why are you running that way? Trying to get the timing down. Oh, what? I guess I, I thought I killed him. And clearly I did not. And now I've backed into a, a tree. Yeah, it's tough to get the timing, as you see, because I failed miserably. I'd be dead 20 times now. Tough to get the timing down. Gotta get them headshots. They heal pretty quickly. Duct tape. I could use that in 76. All right, we do have some things to talk about while I check the uh, ghoul body parts. Thing number one, super exciting. We have surpassed 100 subscribers. Yay, 100 subscribers. We have surpassed 100 subscribers. Uh, very excited about that. Very cool. It's, it's uh, clearing up. This is pretty clear for Frost. Uh, I'm going to go over some of the new subscribers and you know, give some shout outs as I like to do. Oh, more ghouls. What a surprise. He can't pass to me though. Where is he going? Why is he running all the way over there? Boy, this place is full of ghouls. Can I throw a grenade? Whee! Are you coming? Boy. There you go. That was a headshot. Somehow it didn't quite... Hey, beautiful. Same to you. That's what I get for taking you out on a first date. Boy, we're starting this off with a lot of terrible shotgun action. Killing things is, uh... Pretty... <laughs> Pretty hard in Frost, I swear. Oh, God. All right, new subscribers. Our newest subscriber. I'll do it in a different order. Our newest subscriber is Zach Bell. Just picked him up the other day. Thank you uh, for subscribing, Zach. I don't know if you watch this series, but if you do... Yeah, that's how I wanted to do it. No, see, that one I goes wrong. And then you got in a... Ridiculous hit. And there we go again. Just gotta get the timing down. I'm getting better at it. I'll have it mastered by the time I'm done playing this. And it'll be a comp completely useless uh, skill. Ah, uh, yes, this is Frost. Pick up everything. Pick up everything in Frost. If you have the. Oh, Private Miller's Journal. Read that before I forget. Private Miller's Journal. Oh yeah, cleaned out everything again. I've been trying to do that every time in between episodes to make it easier. To see what's going on, find things. Two convoys managed to get here. This is what the other guys were talking about. Two convoys. I swear I only found one. The third one's probably stuck in the tunnels. 
with the tunnels again always with the tunnels and i don't know what they're talking about or more, more likely destroyed captain sykes ordered us to try restore peace around here since people are rioting raiding and killing each other i'm not keen but it's probably a good idea these people here are basically an angry mob if we don't get this under control it might be difficult to maintain supply roots sykes son joined us out of the blue today, strange guy. Sykes wants us to take him with us, but I can't say I approve. We got better things to do than babysit his offspring. We sent Hendrix and his squad to patrol the other park sections, but I'm not sure we can keep effective control with the numbers we've got. Enough civvies survived by hiding in the tunnels that were badly outnumbered. Best keep the rations loaded in the lorries in case we have to make a quick exit. Captain Sykes is dead. He and his son Mitchell got into an argument today and the bastard killed him in his sleep. Where shit? He took off in one of our trucks before we found the corpse. Now we're down to half our food and we've lost a good quantity of ammunition to boot. He can't have gone far with that little gas that was left in the tank. So we're heading out after him with the convoys. He drove to the west. But I think he did it to mislead us. Damn it. Distractions like these are the last thing we need. Cobalt is waiting and needs to be secured before the fall and testifies fallout. Uh-huh. Intensifies any further. Okay. That was interesting. So west. But we did. This is not 76. I just played 76. So again, my brain's like hit start to go to the map. No, that's not how it works. I mean, we did. We did. We did everything to the west for the most part. I mean, I don't. I, maybe there's something up here that we missed. I don't remember. So that's why we were currently going. The plan was the fo we're following the road. So we were coming up here, go over here. We're going to we're going to follow the road. And um try to see what's what on the roads and make sure we hit every everything and worst case scenario if we get to the end and I'm still not positive if we hit every single location before we leave Nuka World because that's the plan I will um, do the map marker slammy jam and uh, see what places we might have missed because yeah, we found one of the convoys for sure. That's that looks really uncomfortable. Captain, oh, see, look, that's why I talk about. Got to be careful with the burned books. If you're here for the lore, which is what I'm here for, got to be careful with these burned books. Captain Sykes' journal, Dale Sykes. Pull some strings and manage to get the transfer. I don't know if I'll even see Mitch, but if I do, I hope he gives me a chance to apologize. He right, he he right, he right. Stupid human. Uh, he's right. I was a dick. I was just worried. I know that they have their... I know what they have there. And I know that the amusement park will be a target. Doesn't matter now. Just want to see him one last time. What is he talking about? Mitch wasn't happy to see me. We screamed at each other like we always do. I tried to be reasonable. I really did. But he left and went to the other civilians at the cocktail bar. We need to leave this town. The fallout will hit this place soon. Fallout again. And yeah, we're definitely taking that. All right. Came here for the lore. And got some lore. I guess that. I guess that's Captain Sykes. I, I don't know how he ended up with his head hanging out the window, but... Can we go up? No? Maybe? Yeah, I'm hitting an invisible ceiling, so I'm guessing the answer is no, I can't go up. I can fall down, though. I can fall down, but, <laughs> but I can't go up. Nothing on the balcony. Some trash. Oh, there's some stuff over there. I don't know. What's physicsing? Physicsing? What's the Bethesda physics making something clumpy jump somewhere? I don't know what's happening. I want to go upstairs. I do. But it doesn't seem like it's going to let me. Yeah, I can't jump. That's jumping right now. And then just gonna fall. Okay, can't do it. Tried. 
Let's get out of here. If I can remember how to get out of here. You know what? We're just going to go like this. Whee! That works. So as usual, we are looking for supplies. We are looking for... Junk. Pretty much anything. We are looking for lore. So that's one of my main things that I want. And we are looking for... What else? What else are we looking for? XP. Yeah. We, got, we want XP because we want a level. And leveling is slow going. Because the ghouls don't normally get that much XP. Can I go that way? I figured. I just wanted to see. So we were going to follow the road. And I'll keep talking about uh, different people. We're going in reverse order. So again, we talked about Zach Bell. We have to talk about uh, Sith Ariaxia. Sith Ariaxia, if this is the series that you watch, thank you so much for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. We've got a little camp here. Somebody was camping. Are these actual beer or just empty bottles? I don't really need bottles, but beer is sanity. Speaking of which, let's take a quick look at our sanity. Negative 72. And that's just the way I like it. We've been, <laughs> we have been insane since episode one. Since like <laughs> five, ten minutes into episode one. Uh, this episode is not brought to you by Mountain Dew Code Red. It's absolutely delicious and my second favorite of all the Dews. After, of course, the Baja. The Baja must flow. Alright, so this is the way we're headed. And once it start again, yes, this is the way we're headed. So I know there are some places that we have not been. Uh, so that's sort of the whole point of this, is I want to make sure that we get everything. I know there's a power armor suit in the bottling plant. The bottling... Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Oh, no. Did I get all of them? No. All right, these are hallucinations. If I let them hit me, they're gonna make me go into that maze, which that's how we ended the previous episode. It was with me in the maze, so I didn't address that. Yes, I, I uh, came up someplace different. Or we started this episode someplace different. Because I, oh, that's freaking <clears throat> bottle and cappy waving scared me. Uh, because I didn't want to go through the maze because I've done so terrible in the maze like if you're insane and you let the hallucinations attack it hurt you then you go into like this insane crazy person maze and I was like oh I'm not gonna make you guys watch this again and I did it really quickly <laughs> like it was I was like damn it I should have just did it in the episode but I was like no nah, I'm not gonna do that and then I just kind of backtracked to you know where we want to continue going this is an interesting uh We'll call this the Tree of Woe. Next on the list is Mrs. Fuse. Not sure if I'm saying that right. It's F-E-U-S. Now, I know that they are watching... What is that now? A wolf. So why? Why so many? Where are they going? Mrs. Fuse. Oh, they're... Somebody's over there. Is watching my Enderall. Oh! Series. Which is my new series. These look like motor guys. And I leveled. What? Dang it! I'm looking for the survivor. Freaky mannequins. Oh, you're yielding? Ah! Alright, I won't kill you if you're yielding. <sighs> I really want that XP, though. Yeah, Mrs. Fuse... 
is uh, commented on the, my Enderall damage combat sniper rifle. They're just gonna run around and scream. So I'm pretty sure that's the series that they're watching. But just in case, I've been saying it uh, in every series. So if they happen to pop over, I think it'd be a cute little surprise. I'm stealing all your shovels. Stop screaming. I don't want your spine though. You can keep you can keep your spine. I don't think I need a rag either. Give me that. Give me that shovel. Give, give me that shovel. Shovels and cameras? What we got here? Oh my god. Please stop screaming or I will kill you. Shovel. Shovel. You're crazy. You are crazy. I mean... Shotgun blast to the head at that close of range. Doesn't make the head. There we go. Pop, pop. Jesus. I thought we could read this plaque. The first shovel originated in Neolithic times and was probably made using an animal's shoulder blade. This is a replica of what that shovel may have looked like if it were made in modern times in Mexico. I forgot about the shovel museum. I'm not gonna lie, take a shot. The item you see before you is not technically a shovel, but an example of a long hand <laughs> spade, most popular sometime between April 3rd and April 7th, 1963. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna read anymore. This is just ridiculous. There's, there's just shovel. Oh, there was a hoe. There was a hoe in here. They're just shovels. That's all they are. They're all just shovels. That one was clipping through a brick. So is it upstairs or isn't upstairs? Yeah, Ender. Oh, who killed you? Ooh, the most holy quest. Yeah, Enderall is my new uh, Skyrim series, Employee Terminal. Uh, it's a conversion mod. Apparently, it's a horror mod, which I did not know. It's pretty wild. I'm only on the second episode. Yes. So if you're looking to hop in the new series, you might be interested in that. Doesn't hurt to take a look. Uh, I have no idea. I'm playing it blind. Alcohol is good because alcohol is sanity. So I, I, I really, I don't know where it's going. I don't know what's going to happen. It's been pretty crazy for the first couple episodes, the first episode or two. That's just a bottle. I don't need his hands or anything else. I will take the shovel. Oh, bubble gum. Die! <laughs> Oh, uh, I guess he thought I left. But yeah, that's uh, that's the new Skyrim series. Uh, Davian Velasquez. Davian Velasquez is watching my Fallout 76 series. He's been commenting. So you never know. I do get some crossover between Frost and 76. So, Davian, if you happen to pop in here, thank you so much for subscribing. I do appreciate it. Why are, you, why are you the only one that's properly yielding? Like, I'll, I'll be... I'll be reasonable. I won't kill you because you're properly yielding. You're you're not trying to attack me like the girl did. Alright, let's get out of here. You can have this place. I don't need the shovel place. Wherever you want. Oh, he's over there. Let's read that... thing that I just picked up and I already forgot, forgot the name of it. Um, ba -ba 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 -da 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 yeah, it was the something. The most holy quest. I pray that a friend of freedom finds this note, for it means I've fallen with my task undone and need you to finish my quest. Our task, friend, is to preserve the great history of America. A daunting task. Some may say impossible, but any tasks can be done if you start small like this museum future generations will thank us for preserving the knowledge and tools that made this country the best in the world the history of shovels that shaped america more will come to help us some like me will die for this most important task life's given for history knowledge and the protection of tools all to save our history from the communists god bless america 
we will make America uh... yeah I'm not gonna read that part that's creepy stop it all right I just realized there's a computer up there that I did not read but it's probably vanilla but we'll check it out real quick anyway just to be sure are you vanilla oh okay Okay. Alright, I guess it's just vanilla and three out of four files are mumbo jumbo and don't work. Yes, I know I've got a new perk. We're gonna put it to Oh, I'm so vexed with that. Like I wanna put it to armor. Because I want to be able to use the power armor better. I want to be able to upgrade the power armor. But Yeah, these two things, they were they were pretty decently off the road. I only discovered them because I headed this way. So now I'm like, should I not go on the road? Or should I go back to the road? I guess we'll go back to the weird oh the wheat I was like what do I keep seeing I guess we'll go back to the road but yes I'm going to be as thorough as possible oh that was a little a little lag there which is weird before uh, we leave so I want to make sure we get all of the lore as much as possible. You know, we killed Orion. He did. We killed Jansen, as far as I know, and everybody else. Alright, so what is this? Like a little... Toll booth? Funnel. Oh, radiated. Dang it. I was all excited for a second. I was like, funnel cake, yeah! But no, it's a radiated funnel cake. Yes, I know there's more things down. Down over. There's got to be some stuff here, right? And I did accidentally discover this as I got out of the maze. I got out of the maze, like, and it was, like, somewhere, like, over here. And then I went down and accidentally discovered that place. But there was also th some stuff up here somewhere, if I remember correctly, too. Yeah, it's been, like, six... I keep saying eight years, but it's more like six or seven years. Hey, I see you, XP. Come over here, XP. How annoying the rats are. 6 XP! Come on. I thought I saw more. I did. Thank you, 6 XP. Not look like if there's anything over there. Oh, another one of these little booths. More funnel cake. More funnel cake. Too bad it's irradiated. Anything in here? No. Alright, so we are still headed north. And looking to the east. Luckily, we can actually see. For, for, uh, for frost, this is a clear day. I mean, I don't think there's anything over there but like I said we'll do the map marker we'll use the console command for map markers as an absolute final thing before we leave 
to make sure that we're not leaving anything behind. Oh, I see more XP and I'm stuck on the car. I think there are only four XP, but whatever. What's up, boys? Worst hunter ever. Is that it? I don't even have the hunter perk on, so I can't get meat or anything from them. Oh, so I was saying, I either... You gonna fall? There you go. That was very dramatic. Bravo. Oh, wait, what's that? I'm either going to do the armor perk, which is what I was leaning towards the entire time, or, um, scrounger. What? Oh my god! Oh my god. Alright, listen, missile, Mr. Launcher Man, they caught him. They call who? I appreciate that, sir. Pop pop. Now I'm getting pop pops here because I'm not using a sniper rifle. Just looking around. They got him. They got who? Who they get? They caught him. I did not got him. Those mutant freaks caught him. Dragged his corpse to Nuka Town. Who knows what they'll do with it. They had a key to the train station. And it's too dangerous to go back alone. And the worst part. He also had our last psycho rations. Okay. Is this some dude with a rocket launcher. Hanging out in a little shack. All by himself. I feel like it's going to tell me any... Jesus Lord, you're not playing 76, stop it. It's going to tell me any second now that I can't go this way any further, but it isn't yet, so... I'll try to get to the high ground, if it will let me, and look around. I mean, that was not a actually map location, but it was still something, and still some XP. Can we get up there? I can't remember. Right, where is it? Where is it? Where are you going to tell me I can't go that way anymore? Is there? Is there a way up there? Ah! I'm not sure. It looks like there's stuff up there. But how in the world would I get up there? Oh. Okay, wait. Okay. I see that. Alright, we found something. We found... A little bunker. I did not finish. Hey, what's up? Sorry, Survivor. Traveling leather coat. Okay. Did not finish uh, welcoming all the new subscribers. The last one is Wait Five Men. Wait Five Men. So I've said it for some of the other people. I do not know what series you're watching, but if it is this one, thank you so much. And I believe that is I've I've welcomed uh, all of the new people except for Zach because he's brand brand new on every one of my series. Oh, you want to start shooting right away? I don't know. I want to shoot him in the legs for some weird reason. Did I get his gun? I guess I got his gun. Gotta get your gun. Alright, so we can go travel up there. Glad I uh, explored a little bit further this way. Oh wait, there's something up there too. All right, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. 
So I have a feeling I think I'm gonna think that I'm done, and then we're gonna do the map marker or uh, console command, and it's gonna, <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of stuff. And I'm gonna be like, oops. I guess I didn't know what I was doing after all. Not a surprise. Brad Burton overpass. Nobody up here? Oh, there is. You cool? You chill? Yeah? Leave now! Nah. Stop! Turn around! Nah. Leave! Nope. See ya. I'll probably murder him on the way back, but I want to see what's over here. People! It would be nice if there was one place. One place. One. That had some friendly people. But clearly this is not going to be the place. Alright, well everybody ran away, so... I'll just start stealing your stuff, and when you want to die, you can come over to me and die. How's that sound to everybody? Does that sound good? It sounds good to me. I know I've leveled up. Please stop telling me. Shush. There, I went in. Now stop telling me. Yeah, you go in your house. I'm stealing all your stuff. Pop, pop. You really should have just stayed in your house. Thank you for the insanity. I appreciate it. Are you hiding your booze in here? Taking your paint can. Whatever that was. Nope. Alright, I know there was another one, but I'm going to hop over here. I'll give you a chance. You stay up over there. You, no, you really... <laughs> Silly boy. Pop, pop. Once you pop, you can't stop. So I hope everybody's doing well. I had a had a pretty pretty terrible day. Not gonna lie. I think it's the first time I said that this episode. Take a shot. Uh, had to go to the vet with one of my cats, my sons specifically. And uh, I mean, it says you're hostile, but you're just kind of chilling over there. Thousand dollars. Oh, there is power armor here. I don't, I don't think I have power core with me, do I, though? Oh, my God. Yeah. All right. Um, oh, Jesus, Lord, please stop hitting the wrong button. Uh-huh. Yep. I, I know. I know, I'm, I, I can't read, so I keep hitting the wrong button. i oh, sorry, I'm still in, now you want to fight? Go away. Alright, I mean, I don't need the frame anyway, necessarily. What else we got in here? I don't know why everybody wants to die so bad. I'm just stealing all your stuff. Not worth dying over. Alright. Frost or vanilla? I think gunners are here, normally. Howard is signed in. Entries 1 through 4. First week, the storm, another storm, melting snow. 
We agreed not to talk about the first week. What happened in the tunnel happened. We did the only thing we could survive. There is no war anymore. There is no army anymore. Only survival. Brad Burton was partially looted, but most people fled to various parts parks for more protection. Managed to get quite a few supplies from the bottling plant and some transporters. The storm. The last three days were hell. We hid in the sewers from the storm. Green lightning, black rain, flying cars everywhere. It was like a second doomsday. When we went up afterwards, we almost didn't recognize the town. Some houses are completely gone, and the streets are covered in ash and snow. Radiation is deadly outside, but the sewers seem to offer enough protection from it. We'll stay down here for now. Yeah, I feel like i got to figure out how to get into the sores. Another storm. Last night, there was another storm. We found a survivor half buried outside the city. He was still alive, but his skin was rotten. He was clearly in shock and hurt. He went and stopped groaning and screaming at us. When we shot him to put him out of his misery, then more came out of the dirt and the snow. And we noticed that they weren't human. You know what they say, when there's no more room in hell, we opened fire right away but these things just didn't care they just kept on running towards us they managed to kill john with their bare hands before we managed to take even one of the freaks down smith had the right idea aim for the head he said that's their weakness but it won't bring john back melting snow we can do more scavenging missions missions what's missions missions now that the weather is getting better we were also able to reach areas that are further away and we managed to get more supplies from the safari there is even some wildlife left enough that we can hunt but we didn't see any other survivors only the dead walking through the endless fog we found one of the other convoys near drg 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 surrounded by freaks were they attra attacked by them, or those things are former comrades? What are they anyway? Mutants or cruel bioweapons sent by the commies? DRG. Dry Rock Ultra. Duh. Alright. She still. <laughs> See, that was where I came out. She's still screaming. Alright, five through eight. Attack on Nukatown. Holy poop, there was an attack on Newtown. A giant group of those hard-to-kill freaks. We ran back here as fast as we could. If we stay at Bradburn, we will probably get overrun too. Jason talked about moving to Overpass since it's more defensible. We must get there ASAP. We should, uh, should those freaks try to come across, we will just blow them with explosive we had left. Train. Shortly after the attack yesterday, we saw the monorail train. For five years, the thing hasn't moved, and now someone arrives here in it. Does it have something to do with the attack? We always thought Boston was gone. Are there other survivors too? Vault dwellers, mutants, or worse, maybe the commies are here to claim what's left? Boy, oh boy, those commies. I have no words. Saw a vertebrate yesterday flying to the bottling plant. It's the army. It has to be. Shortly after that, the bird went up in flames and crashed down at S.A. Someone's running around with a rocket launcher. Who could they be? The people from the train or one of the other survivor groups? There is a distress signal coming from the plant. It might be our ticket out of here if they send reinforcements. Maybe they'll take us with them. We have to take our chances. We're running out of supplies. And then... Just a corrupted entry. All right, so that was all frost. And I think I've pillaged all there is to pillage from here. Thank you for a couple more pieces of power armor. Would you just stop shooting at me? I kind of want her to fall. I think that'd be funny. Can you fall? You can't really push her. So I couldn't push her, so I just blew her off. And now I have to go find a body. Maybe that wasn't the smartest thing to do. Alright. Let's go kill the other dude. 
I'm coming for you. I'm coming. How is that throw worse? Surprise! I have to kill him. He might have some lore on him. Apparently he's got money. I didn't have my pit light on this whole time. Sorry about that. You know I like to normally have it on so we can see. Alright, so let's go try to find her body. Theoretically, her body would be... There she is, I see her. Do you have lore? Fungal purge. Rustic backpack. No lore. Okay. So we saw something else. Yeah, over there. Let's go check that out. Looks like a crane? That's where that other guy was, right? Yeah. Anybody over by this crane? Uh, no. I guess not. Anybody living in this trailer? Anything cool in this trailer? An aluminum canister! Alright! Yes! What I always wanted for my collection of aluminum canisters. Come on. Jump better. What is this? Oh, it knocked over light. I'll take your cement, thank you. Huh. Am I the only one that, like, when I'm playing and I'm, like, trying to jump, like, I, like, I, like, move my... Like my head and my body, like I'm trying to like help <laughs> help my character jump. It's like when uh, if you ever play pinball on like a real pinball machine, like you're always kind of like you like you're like jerking your body around while you're playing. Like that's actually helping you. I thought these things were giant spiders. Oh, the time was totally off. There we go. Come on, let's see if I can do it right. There we go. Oh, I didn't want pelvis bones. Shake your pelvis like Elvis. Hot plate ladle. Oh, did I finish, did I finish my story about going to the vet? I can't remember. I got distracted. Yeah, $1,000 for the cat. And we still don't know... That was just for all the x-rays and the... There's definitely something over there. All the x-rays and the blood work and the initial meds that they gave us. But technically, we don't. We still don't even know what's wrong. All right. I always put my gun away like that matters. Like they're like, oh look, he's not trying to murder us. Let's be friends. But that never, that never ends up being a thing. It's always like, oh my god, kill him. Alright, this place is abandoned? Moonshiner's Camp. Thank you for the XP. Alright, well, it looks like, uh... We were making more of the moonshine here. I'll take your buckets, with your human skulls, apparently. Could we pick up? We can't pick up any of that stuff? 
recipe recipe pie so one day or rather after 333 days 333 days I started to get more and more radiation sickness right away run away it's hard to find so one day while cooking I discovered this mushroom drink got rid of all the radiation sickness thank god finally I can continue so I did with the same recipe recipe pie and for a few days I was the fedora guy with the laser rifle death claw no problem but after a week or so of drinking this mushroom acid again and again I noticed my hands were shaking and I could not hit poop it will go over then turns out I'm insane unsound of mind haha ha, for real no more guns just more psycho and whatever else I can find okay I hear something besides the crows a bear Listen, crows. You're confusing me. Go away. That sounds like a bear. Did he turn into a bear? Where's the bear? Wrestle the bear. Arn Anderson. Jean nice. LaBelle, Stu Hart, Wrestle the Bear. Alright. Bear. Where's the bear? Come on. There was totally a bear. What? He's on the... <laughs> He's on the roof! How is the bear on the roof? Come on! What the hell? Thank you for the XP. Oh, that's your face! Oh, that's... 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 That's way more gruesome than I remember it being. That's way more gruesome than I remembered. Pop, pop on the bear, but that was... Whoo! That was a. Uh, I made a mess out of him. There was a skeleton up there with him too. Sadly, no moonshine. And like, what's up with some of the stuff on this table? Why can I not pick some of this stuff up? It's like it's not real. It's pretend. That's so weird. Okay, not a big deal. Just. Weird. I don't remember the Moonshiners camp. Not saying it didn't exist, just saying I don't remember it. Alright. We're gonna have to hit that invisible wall soon. I just wanted to get high, higher again so I can see and look out. So that's kind of been working. Oh yeah, that's, yep. As soon as I saw the fence, I know that's... That fence is... Bethesda's way of saying no. Okay, we're almost to... We're almost to the house. That I accidentally discovered. Because I came out of the graveyard. And this is the house with more power armor in it. But I didn't mess with it. At all. I just let it be. But we can see... It doesn't look super exciting either. But right there is the power armor. Now I remember... I believe fancy hairbrush that you have to get in there from the sore because this place I remember
Because this was one of the... When, when I played originally, this was like the first place I discovered. Or one of the first places I discovered. Yeah, you know, once I got out of Nuga World, like somehow I ended up over here. And I was... And I couldn't figure out how to get in. So then I just left it and ignored it for like forever. And then finally I was like, I got to figure out how to get in that house. There has to be a way to get in the house. And lo and behold, there is a way to get in the house. And this is the way. A lot of empty bottles. I will take most of your junk. I don't really want the empty bottles. I'll take the drugs. What? Forgot about the rad roach. Tin can, sure. Money. Nuka Cola. Boom shakalaka. Sweet. No lore. Why is everything locked in here? That's it. Oh boy, for a silver fork and a small baby bottle and another shovel. I wonder how many shovels I have now. Has to be what? I can't, I can't kill him. He's too small. I can't shoot him. I need bigger things. All right, we got we got everything from down here, so that we can go up. And right into the garage. Even the toolbox is locked. What the heck? Got it. All right. And the actual house is inaccessible. Plastic pumpkin. Can I take that back to, uh, 76? Because I always need plastic. All right. Really? Wow. Thanks. All right. Well, we found <laughs> we found two suits of power armor. I'm really concerned that the since they made the uh, the Nuka Cola power armor suit and Galactic Zone fake, like you couldn't do anything with it. Now I'm super paranoid that the one in the Nuka Cola bottling plant is going to be the same way. I ignored that when we went through it earlier. But, I would like to leave Nuga World with a nice set of power armor. I, my original plan was I was just going to try to make my own nice. But, that's looking less and less likely considering how hard it is to level. Now, I'm just going to put it in armor. I'm just going to make that executive decision. Look, we'll even do it. I don't normally do this. Um, where in the world is armor? Um, no, that's locksmith. We already did that. There it is, right? No, that's gun nut. That's gun nut, not armor. Come on. I always get mixed up in here. Armor would be what? It's not intelligence. The scrapper was the one I was thinking about taking. Oh my god, I've already taken armor once. There it is. Jesus, Lord, I'm blind. That's blacksmith. Blacksmith's different. <laughs> blacksmith is different. Blacksmith is not armor. Blacksmith is... There's armor. There we go. Yeah, so... Now I'll be able to do T-45s. Which is not, is not super exciting. Like, then T-51, then T-60. But I can't even do this till I get to level 25. So, I'll do the best I can with what, what I have. And then, you know, we'll, we'll leave with whatever is the best I can get. I mean, that's all I can say. That's all I can do. So, we will 
pick up the next episode. Because I think we're done. Eh, it's a little early. We'll go longer. We're just going to explore Brad Burton a little bit more. I wish it was... Not nighttime? Yeah, this is where I woke up. Right here. How did I miss sugar bombs, though? But yeah, this is... What the heck? That had to respawn. But yeah, when I finished the maze last time, I said I, I came out of a graveyard. This was the graveyard I came out of. Yeah, well, I'm getting this fever blossom. Thank you very much. Yeah, and I ran away from the town because I didn't really want to mess with ghouls or anything again. Like the stairs to nowhere. That works well. Now, we had, like, passed through here and explored a lot of this. I can't say that we explored all of it and that we got everything, but this house looks unexplorable. But I just wanted to go a little bit, a little bit more detailed through. In Vanilla, there's some storyline stuff here, so I'm not sure if they have put anything storyline-wise here for Frost. But we won't know unless we look, and that's why we're going to look. And then, what's that over there? See, like, I see something over there. Yeah, there was just a ton of ghouls here. I'd like to say, oh, if it was daytime, I'd be able to see easier, but we know it's, that's not... That's often not the case. I can't go up there, can I? I can go up there? I can sidetracked, but I kind of want to go up this road. Oh, there's some houses over there, too. Okay. Oh. But why? It looks like there's a gate up there. But I want to. Fine. Bumming me out. Oh, this is like, um... Oh, is that another bear? Bears are decent XP. Is it a friendly bear, though? Because we did find that other friendly bear, and he was in water. He is not a friendly bear. Or something's not friendly. Oh, Jesus, that scared me. Thanks for jump scaring me, mud crabs. Mud crabs, whatever you are. Butt crabs. Nobody likes crabs. Hey, Bubba, you 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 grumpy? You want to fight? What if I go in your boat? What if I go in your boat? He is hostile, but he's also doesn't seem terribly interested in me. I mean, I'll just kill him from here, I guess. Nothing in the lunch pail. What? Tickets that I can't pick up. What? Oh, they're in the water. Hey. Anybody? Hello? Oh, that got your attention, huh? Come on. 72 XP. Where's the other mutt crab? I want all the XP. There. Oh, the whole 2 XP. Yeah, baby. Ew. Creepy things. Twitching and... I thought that was that blood leaf stuff. Can I harvest any of these eggs? Oh, 
God, do things are annoying. Oh my God, they look like ticks. That's what they, not ticks. Uh, fleas. They look like fleas. That's what I think of every time I see them. Like, have you ever looked at a flea up close? Collecting a lot of eggs. Ah! Excuse me, Mr. Stump. Sorry to have bumped into you. Alright, so where is it? Oh my god. Where? Where? What? Hi. How did I... How did I miss this whole patch of eggs? I guess they blend it in to the whatever this is. All right, I was trying to see what these houses are over here. What? What? Who's there? A super mutant? Why is there a super mutant here? Hundred and eleven XP Vault Dwellers Journal. Do we did we run into another super mutant? I think we did, didn't we? Oh ripped one eighty seven or one eighty seven <laughs> one eighty seven that's oh god, that's uh police code for what? Murder, death, homicide. Um Vault Dwellers? What is this now? Vault Dwellers Journal. I woke up today. Amnesia. I don't know how I left the Vault 87 or why. My skin itches. What happened? Everything out here is destroyed, broken, cold, but I live how? This sounds really familiar. Did I already read this? They said, well, I didn't say we already had this. They said that the surface kills everything. I have nightmares, green skinned monsters that tear men and women apart. Woke up screaming to discover another survivor had found me, Jackie. She said there are other people in the stores, and in some ways they survived without the vaults. They call the surface the Capital Wasteland. She gave me a gas mask. It's too dangerous without it. Military roams the surface. Well, at least what's left of it, Jackie told me to stay away from them. They shoot everything that moves, then ask questions later. Had another nightmare today. Jackie held me and told me everything will be all right. I don't know what I would do without her. Soon we will reach the survivor camp in the underground. I'm hungry. My skin is a weird pale and green color. My hair is starting to fall out. Jackie says it's radiation poisoning. We don't have any more radix or right away. Maybe it's too late for me, but I want to see the underground camps. There is hope for humanity. Headaches, eyes bleed, underground soon, one time, see more humans, hope. There is hope for all people survival. Jackie dead, blood on my hands, rage, hunger, no underground, murderer. I'm a killer, leave, leave the capital, writing is hard, hands too big, people run away. From me, monster, they scream, where's Jackie, hungry, catched, weak humans, weak, I'm stronger, snow, snow everywhere, stupid snow. <laughs> I should start reading this like a super. Dreams, remember I, remember cold, rooms. Three tongues, but silent green stuff. I'm, I'm ending up sounding like freaking Yoda. Mm -hmm, green stuff it is, yes. Skin, <laughs> skin's far away. I go away. Okay. That was cool. So he was, he came from the FEV vault and slowly turned into a mutant. So that was Fallout 3 stuff. Fall 87 is, if I remember correctly, it's where you uh, you get Fox and you you get the, uh... oh my god, that box scared the bejesus. I'm like, who's throwing boxes at me? Anyway, that was Fall 3. Very cool. And honestly, I wouldn't mind uh, more, more showing up because uh, that was a lot of XP for killing one dude. Is that his blood or is that somebody else's blood? So it's just, just one wrecked house and then a garage. That is like closed off. Can't really do anything with it. 
what do we got up here nothing else and then straight down I mean I feel like other than going back to the bottling plant we have to be close or am I crazy so we're gonna finish checking out Brad Burton Brad Burton Brad Burton yep um this just looks like so such a big of an area here I feel like there might be something here but I'm not positive I'm really not I want to be positive that's that's kind of the whole thing there's also was there a chair or something I could sit down in I know there was desks was there a chair I'll just, I'll just shoot them all. I don't care. <clears throat> there is a couch. Wait, five hours. This doesn't always work, as I well know from previous episodes. Sometimes it makes things better. Sometimes... It makes things worse. This is... I mean, honestly, overall, I feel like it's better. Like, I can kind of look around a little bit. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure how far it was going to let me go. Alright, so let's run back to Brad Burton. Oh no. I don't know where, where the mud crab is. That went off really quickly. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god, with these eggs. Oh, hi. I didn't kill you. Where did he come from? Oh my god. All that for 2 XP. Was there some more eggs over here? No. Come on now. Alright. Let's try to go through this town. Now that I can see a little bit better. Try to find everything we can find. Verify that we've gotten everything. That we didn't miss any lore. Like, who's cooking over here? Who's making, uh, meth? Okay. I mean, maybe not meth. It could be fentanyl. I don't know. Oh my god, I did not see you. Head, not legs. This isn't 76. I shoot everything in the legs in 76, so <laughs> it really messes me up when I come here and I have to start shooting things in the head. I'm like, super units, legs. Uh, blood eagles, legs. Ghouls, legs. Alright, so these houses all seem like you can't do anything with them. That's fine. Alright. It 
looks like a lot of the buildings are inaccessible. So... See, that worked really well. I saw him coming before he got up. I was able to run up there and... Oh my god. Get the headshot in before he was able to do... Yeah, so there's still some ghouls around. I would have thought I got them all because I got, like, really ambushed. Get up. Get up. Alright. So that was three. Felt mildly comfortable with that. Alright, where are you going? Cool. Come on. No, oh, that did not work. When they run full full speed at me, I still uh still can't get the shot off in time. Alright, I could blow this whole thing up. I don't know why I would do that necessarily. And there's a big boy up there. That's some pretty crazy running you were doing there. Alright, so we were coming this way. I saw that big guy. This place is inaccessible. Come on. We'll call that a pop pop. Whoa, whoa. What was. What in the world? There were some interesting uh, lighting issues there. Come on, I noticed two more of you. Let's shoot his head off. Did they all respawn? I really was not expecting there to be this many. And it doesn't seem like most of the enemies do respawn. What's up, chubby boy? Come on. That's what I'm talking about. I think they all might have respawned. Where did another one go? Fool, come out of the house. Alright. Are we done? We good now? They're doing the whole picking everything up thing will help me remember what buildings I've gone through and what buildings I've not gone through. Right, that was that house we initially checked. Could not go in. Dude, you're late to the party. Seriously. I love that it almost looks like I know what I'm doing now. Almost. Still not quite. But almost. Alright, so all those buildings are clear. Have we been in here? Initial thoughts, yes, but then there's a note right here. First letter to Kathy. I keep replaying it over and over in my head. The flash, I thought it was a ride malfunction. Then the blast. Then the noise. Air raid sirens. The press of people as they ran for the gates. I felt someone stepped on my back. Another person's heel crushed my face. I felt a tooth crack. Suddenly Jim was next to me, hauling me to my feet and screaming at me to run. I did. We ran. So much screaming. We felt so safe on the bus, feeling it roll away, rocking with its herky jerk moments people were silent and in shock the sky over boston looked like it was on fire some were crying and whimpering but most people looked gray and half dead i looked at jim and tried to smile until i saw the kid next to him wasn't you the kid next to him wasn't even a girl but a boy wearing the same cowboy hat you had been wearing you were back there no you are back there 
Oh, this is the mommy from the other note that we read. I know you are. You're waiting for me. I'm going to find you, baby. Mama's going to find you. Wow. All right, so we read the, the, the kid's note. But had not read the mommy's note. And now we've read the mommy's note. Uh, that's pretty sad. So I think I have been through here. It looks kind of scarce in regards to junk, but I guess I missed some things. What are you guys doing in here? Huh? You got duct tape. You got a monkey in here, you too? You guys are freaks. Shut up, monkey. Telephone, jet. You're having a wild pompadour wig. You guys are freaky. Getting crazy in here, man. I could sleep on this bed. <laughs> I'm not trying to sleep on the bed. Pick up the money. Go to sleep. Oh, there's a gun here, too. Heavily damaged. How does that help me? Give me that clipboard. So I'm hiding the clipboard from me. I want that clipboard. Give me that hat, too. Did you make it so I can't get the clipboard? I'll dare you! Alright, same thing probably as before. Can't go up the broken stairs, even though it clearly looks like I can make that jump. No. Alright. Screw it. We got everything from this building, right? I feel like I'm crazy now. I got so distracted by that mannequin room. I didn't go. I didn't go out up up here. Ooh, I would have missed a glass and an alarm clock and a bag with a cow skull in it. That would have been so disappointing to miss the bag with the cow skull in it, though. All right, so the bank. Nope, nothing to do with the bank. Yeah, this is because we went around the church, and I was like, how come I can't get in the church? Like, I thought that there should be a way to get into it, but no. No, there definitely isn't. And what about this building all the way over here? Why is there an extra building? Traffic cones all the way over here. Why are you guys so antisocial? A noodle cup. How is that still good? I mean, ramen ramen don't last that long. Ramen is delicious. Especially if you know how to mess around with it and add different different things. Different different things, different ingredients. Some people like to put like melted cheese into it, which makes it like a kind of like a macaroni and cheese. That's not really my jam. Hey, fool. What are you doing all the way over there? Come on. Really three shots and I missed all four shots now. Five shots. How are we doing? Did that just say we were doing pretty good at leveling? I can't imagine. Oh, we are. We are actually doing pretty good. I'm going to guess that was just because of the, the super mutant and the bear and stuff. Because... I don't feel like we've done a terrible lot otherwise. Yeah, because remember, cooking, crafting, all that stuff does not give you XP. So it's literally just discovering places, killing enemies, and that's, that, I mean, that's it. But yeah, but there's no way to get in the church. I don't know why that bothers me, but it does bother me. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, there's, just like, not even a door. Where's the, where's the door? Where, where is the door to this building? Where? Was this it? I guess this was it. Okay, fair enough. So somebody blocked it off from the outside. Like, maybe there was, like, a dead inside. So you don't, you don't, you, you don't want to go in there. Maybe. I'm just making up my own story now. 
All right, so we went in that house, and then there's a whole nother house over here. This is technically be, be the last house if you're leaving town. And nope, no, there's more. But this one's all boarded up and you can't do anything with it anyway. And this one's all busted up. So we might be able to do something in here. Jangles. And a skeleton hanging out together. Is that a sword? Why did who just threw a bunch of stim packs at me? That was weird. I'll take the room books. Anything else? Another room book. Make sure there's no lore. Alright. That's it for this building. And... Look how clear it is. This is the, like the clearest day we've ever had. Ever. Since I've been playing this. Alright, there's a little barn over here. Oh, we've definitely been here because this is right across from Red Rocket. Now, I did some Red Rocket stuff. This, there was, what was there? Is this where the cat is? This is where the cat is. The hostile cat. Wait, what? Where all those were? Oh my god. Oh my god. Scared the bejesus out of me. Where did you guys come from? Could you please die? Get up. Alright, so the ghouls look like they are respawning. So, I mean, if you wanted to be super crazy about this, I guess you could linger around forever. And, oh, the truck's about to blow. And wait for things to respawn. I... Especially ghouls. They're such a pain in the butt. I don't, I don't know that that would be uh, terribly beneficial. But you could. Alright, now... This was the building that I came across and I did kill... Where are you going? This is drunky. Yeah, I killed everybody. For sure. In this building. In between episodes. Because I accidentally stumbled across here. I was trying to get to... The, um... Wow, this is annoying. How many shots does it take to kill him? Alright, the ghoul is getting harder? I swear I'm getting more XP from them than I was. And they seem... Yeah, the truck finally blew up. I was trying to go to... Red Rocket. I was going to save it at Red Rocket. And, uh... So, like I said, I came out of that grave over there, whatever, and I cut this way to get the red rocket, and I ended up passing this building, and why is everything still here? This is so weird, because I, I, I was like, screw it, it's not a big deal, I'm just going to clear it out, there wasn't any lore or anything, so I did, and now it's acting like I didn't do anything. Which is really odd. But okay. I guess. Very weird. Not a big deal. Because there was actually survivors here. There was like three or four survivors. And there was not a Jangles the Moon Monkey on the floor. So like stuff respawned and respawned weirdly okay well I did it now or went through it again now yeah because I remember the mannequin clipping through that was exactly the way it was and the closed uh, hot tub I think we're going to end the episode in uh, 
I'll take you over to Nuka World because I'll show you what I did there. I hope that explosion didn't kill the hostile cat. Are you still in here, buddy? Yeah, you're still in here. Okay. I, mean, I like cats, obviously. They <laughs> hear how much I spent. Oh my god. And for the record, I don't have a thousand dollars. Um to pay to to uh to take a cat to the vet but i, I mean I had to do it it's my son's cat what am i gonna do i'm gonna let the cat die i mean i love the cat too but my son's eight it, it's the cat the cat is also eight it's the same age as him like i just i just i just couldn't let the cat die so i'll figure something out We'll just cut back on this and cut back on that and figure something out. Little Nuka gift shop. I've technically, dang it, technically never been in debt a day in my life. Sweet. Not saying that to be braggadocious or anything, just as a matter of fact. I am generally fiscally responsible. Got it. So much so that some people might think, oh wait, riots. Everything went to poop. Everyone was looting, screaming, and bashing each other's heads in. I tried to avoid the fighting and made my way to the store to get something useful, anything. And then there was this guy running around with a cart. He had no food, no water, no alcohol, no guns, only toilet paper. Lots and lots of toilet paper. <laughs> that sounds familiar. That sounds familiar, doesn't it? Oh, that was just an empty bottle. But yes, I, I've always been responsible with money. I know a lot of people aren't, and I'm not saying that there's anything wrong if you aren't. My, my closest friend is... Well, honestly, my closest friend and my oldest friend, two different friends, closest and oldest, uh, they're both severely in debt. And I love them both very dearly. So it's it's not a, you know, not being good with money or not taking care of, your, you know, things with money is not a uh, necessarily a negative character trait. It's just sometimes stuff happens. Like you have to take your cat to the vet. <laughs> Sweet. And pay a thousand dollars that you're not expecting to do. All right, this has to be vanilla. I'm not gonna waste the time reading that. And we have to be getting close to the end of this episode. I just want to try to make sure we have explored every building here. This this city is a little disorienting, a little bit, a tiny bit, because we've been in that building. We've been in this building. I feel like there's something we missed. You know, these big buildings you can't go in. The motel? Do we we were in the motel. Yes. The motel was one of the ones that we just went through. And we killed this dude, but we have not gone in here. This is this is the place that you do some stuff in vanilla. So Somebody's, somebody woke up. Come on. Now, I think he would have got that head in, but I tried to remain calm and time it correctly. Just pick that up. My anxiety does not uh, like the idea of being in any kind of debt at all. I was talking to my son about like when we went to Disney a couple years ago when he was younger, and my oldest friend set everything up. Uh, he's like a Disney expert. He set everything up for us, did an amazing, wonderful job making it as stress free for us as humanly possible. And uh, I let him, you know, do That's everything it. and set it all up and then just tell me how much it cost. And uh, when he told me, 
didn't question it for a second just gave him the money and then there was a couple other things that we ended up deciding we wanted to do as well and when he told me he needed a little bit more money to do that didn't question it at all and just gave it to him and then we went and had a perfectly wonderful magical vacation all right so this is this is frost Coyce's journal parsons the crown the angel they were all lies parsons revelation is mine visions of tin men the truth about the angel and the plan of the false god another survivor Ooh, me killer frost we'll see it too and here deep underground under this forgotten place are two other secrets the fate of a fool and the artifact which the redeemers are seeking well that was see i'm so glad i came here so glad and are we are we done are we done in here have we been in this little this little place? I think we're done. If any dwellers watching, you notice I missed the building. Please, please let me know. And let me know. Kind of like try to give me a gist of where the building was that I missed. So that way I could go back and check for everything. I, I think I've gotten everything. Again, this town is slightly, slightly disorienting to me. But I've tried to go up and down the roads as best as I can understand that the roads are laid out. And I believe we've searched every building that can be searched. I think. But like I said, it's very possible I missed something. So if I did, just let me know. All right, so let's go to Red Rocket and wrap this episode up. It might not seem like we did a lot, but I actually feel really good because we, we cleared out and like checked, like right now I'm like mentally checking you know, areas off. Have we, have we completed this area? Is there any reason to go back to this area? You know, yes or no? And I feel like we, we went through a lot that the answer is no, we're done. We've completed them. There's no reason that I can see to go back again and look for anything else. There was lore. We got the lore. What? Wait, 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 what, what, what? What in the world? Where did these dudes come from? Where did these dudes come from? Well, that was a surprise. Trying to be a little bit slower about picking things up. Now, these guys always have schematics. Schematics, one of my favorite words to say. Schematics and trousers. I don't know why. Just a power fist. Power fist might be fun to use. I've never really used a power fist. Just run up to dudes and punch them. Glass house. Oh, okay. Yeah, where did these guys come from, though? They just, they just came from like randomly running in this direction over here. Like where we just were. We were just over here. So weird. Okay. Red rocket we go. Now I did a little base building with red rocket I know it might blow your mind it might blow your mind nothing super exciting I, I scrapped everything because before we leave we are going to play with uh, robots and stuff so I thought this would be kind of a cool base of operations to do that 
So super basic. Mainly just cleared stuff out. Like how how? How how are these still here? What what in the world? I swear I went over every single inch of this. And this seems like something pretty obvious to miss. But here we are. All right. So I put a door. And another door. I don't know. I was just messing around mainly. But yeah, we'll do some stuff in here. You see, I didn't put... I didn't put very much at all. Because I also figured, like, right before I leave, that I can maybe use everything in here. You know what I mean? Like, all the all the scrap. I can use all the scrap that I've collected here. And this will also be a good place to start uh, for the next episode. With all that being said, if you made it with me this far into the episode, I greatly appreciate it. More than you ever know, if you're a new subscriber and you would like a shout-out, Please let me know. YouTube only lets me know certain people for some reason. It's really weird. Um, with all that being said, I bid you adieu, goodbye, and good night, Vault Dwellers. Thank you so very much for watching. Have a good night.